is America. This isn't the former Soviet Union. D just wants to be left alone, but the U.S. Census Bureau has been hounding her for two years. They keep sending me letters, FedExes. They keep coming to my apartment, harassing me, stalking me, waiting for me over a survey. Uh, a survey that's completely voluntary. It's called the National Crime Victimization Survey. The Census Bureau sent it to her, explaining her address was among those scientifically selected to participate. D, who doesn't want her last name used, took a quick look, saw that the survey was voluntary, and threw it out. You're not a crime victim. No, I'm not a crime victim. But then a field rep for the Census Bureau showed up at Dee's apartment building without notice to say how important the information gathered from the survey is, even if you're not a crime victim. I told the young woman, no. I said, I have no interest in doing your survey. Please leave me alone. And I walked away. And I thought that would suffice. Right. I was wrong. Another census worker came, explaining they had to interview people in the selected households every six months over a three-year period. Angry, D called Jeff Baylor, the Census Bureau's regional director. The director assured me that he would take care of the matter, that they wouldn't bother me anymore. But nothing changed. They've continued sending her notices and surveys, some in FedEx envelopes marked extremely urgent. This is extremely urgent. A voluntary survey is extremely urgent, and they've spent the taxpayers' money on FedEx packages. And they've spent taxpayers' money sending at least five field reps to her building. They sit in your lobby and wait for you? They stand in my lobby, and they wait for me to come in. This is on a Saturday evening. They're usually here around 5 o'clock Saturday evening. She keeps saying no, and they keep coming back. What a shame. What the United States Census Bureau is doing is harassment, it's an abuse of power, and I will never participate in this survey. No. They can go jump in a lake. No one from the Census Bureau would speak with us on camera, but after we questioned their actions in this case, a spokesman said they would remove Dee's name and address from the survey system. She was skeptical, but it's been two months, and she hasn't heard from them. If you've got a story for me, send an email to whatashame at pix11.com or contact me on Facebook or Twitter.